Right, Zach. Uh, first question is, uh, are you naturally left or right-footed? Right-footed. Are you annoyed your picture isn't on FIFA 14? Yeah. <laughs> you, are you a regular player of that? Uh, I'm on there as a reserve, but I was disappointed that I weren't on there with a picture at least. Next year? Yeah, hopefully. Um, how, how much do you think you deserve a chance to, for a first start in the league? You had the JPT, didn't you? started yeah. in that. You uh, I haven't really had a big opportunity to show. I've pl I started one game, so I've still got a lot more to show. Yeah. Okay. Is the only downfall being a professional not being a ball boy for the Wymans anymore? <laughs> no, I didn't enjoy that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And what's it like making the transition from youth team to first team? Because it's all happened to you a year early for you, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is a lot different. Uh, I found youth team a lot easier than I did first team, but I'm happy with the first team, so it's good. Yeah. When did you first think you might get fast-tracked to becoming a pro? Which not, you would have been youth team again this year, wouldn't you? So. Yeah, not as early as I got it. I was very surprised, but I've got it now, so look forward yeah. to just carrying on. Okay. Um, have you always been into wrestling and who's your favourite wrestler? Yeah, I lo I've loved wrestling since I was young and uh, John Cena. Okay. Uh, has a loan move ever been mentioned? Because you went out to Cleve on work experience last year and did well. Has anything been mentioned this season about getting you out for some more experience? Or? Not this season. I've been on the bench every week. Like I haven't been dropped, so not this season. But if obviously I don't get any more game time, then maybe they're looking to get me on loan or something. I don't know. It's it's yeah. not me, my agent would look at that. Yeah, the good thing is you got to play in the FA Cup, Youth Cup, didn't you? So yeah. you got 90 minutes there. Yeah, which is good. What level of football do you think you can reach? Uh, I can't really say that. I'd be a bit big-headed, but hopefully as high as the highest. I yep. hope to go to the highest anyway. Yeah, OK. How do you pronounce your name? Kavitsa. OK, cleared that one up. <laughs> uh, are you eligible to play for any other countries other than England? Uh, Italy. You, is it, you've got yeah, Italian my, maybe? my mum's dad's for Italian, so I can play for Italy. Right. And is the name Polish? Or? My yeah, but it was my great grandfather, so right. I have I, I can't play for Poland. Right. So it's just England or Italy. Yeah. Right. Um, how much do you expect to feature between now and the, the rest of the season? I hope to get a couple more starts at least. That's what I'm looking to do anyway. I'm happy being on the bench every week though, so. Yep. But I look to get a, I hope to get a couple more starts anyway. Yep. Okay. Who do you think is better at their peak, Ryan Giggs or Gareth Bale? Gareth Bale. Okay. Um, what was it like after the Tamworth game? Because you obviously got on for the last few minutes and it was disappointing. Yeah, what? it was very disappointing. We had so many chances to score, which we didn't put away. So everyone like in the change room, it was really down. But just got to pick ourselves back up now. Look, go on in the league now. Focus on the league. So. Yeah. Okay. And um, what advice? And coaching goals have you been given um, to sort of force your way back, force your way into the first team starting uh, lineup? Work on my left foot because normally I play out on the left wing, so I like to cut inside on my right, but I've got to work on my left foot, cross it, yeah. uh, not overcomplicate things. If if there's someone to pass, you just give it simple. Yeah. So I will look to work on that. Yeah. Okay. Now this is similar lines really, but what do you think is the strongest parts of your game and the game the parts of your game you really need to work on the most? Uh, I like taking on people. I think I've got a lot of pace, and then obviously working on my left foot. Yeah. So. Are you quite happy with it. Apart yeah. From that? Yeah. Um. What's your favourite restaurant? Nando's. Okay. And do you prefer playing on the left or the right? Left. Do you think you're the most technically gifted player at the club? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, do you, who would you give that to then, Jericho? Uh, Sam Darren. Ian Hutton wants to know, are you buying a new docking station for the gym? <laughs> I said to the on Twitter yesterday, I didn't break it, so no, I'm not doing that. So somebody broke it and you're, <laughs> yeah, you're not taking I'll get the, the blame. blame. Okay. Can you drive? Not yet. I've got my test at the end of the month. Right, do you pass your theory? You? Yeah. Describe yourself as a footballer in three words. <laughs> uh, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, who do you think is the best striker you've seen in League Two? Can it be from like and, and they've played in League Two? Yeah, Tom Pope. What? Now you've played in that FA Youth Cup. Have you, can you tell how far you've come? And did you find it easier playing against yeah, youth team players? I found it easier this year than I did last year. Yeah. I've since I've trained with the first team, things in the youth team have got a lot easier. It seems anyway. So. Yeah. Good. Good sign of progress. Yeah. 
Uh, what age did you join Cheltenham? Under sevens or under eights. I've been here a long time. So. Yeah, and you came with Spencer Hamilton. You yeah. come right through yeah. all the age groups together. Yeah. Um, if you could pick three players at Cheltenham to play keep, to be good at keep ball, which three would you go for? Go for keep ball. Uh, Nobs, Sam, and Matt Richards. Right. Uh, what was it like making your first team debut? Um, it was Burton, wasn't it, on the first yeah. day of the season? That's been the best moment so far. Uh, when I got the chance to come on, I was very happy. So. Yeah. That's been the best moment of my career probably so far. Yep. I hope to look for more, but that's been the best. Yep. Uh, who's your best mate at the club? Uh, Harry and Spence. Yeah, Harry's doing well, isn't he? Yeah, he's season? doing very well, yeah. Um, who do you think's quicker, you or Jermaine McGlashan? I knew this question was going to come <laughs> I haven't raced him, so I can't say. Probably him, though. But you think you give him a good, good yeah. run for his money? Um, who's the best player you've played with and the, the best player you've played against so far? Best player I've played with, probably Jack Grealish when I went on a trial at Aston Villa. He's now at, on loan at Notts County. And against uh, Joe Cole when I played against West Ham. Yeah. He's played for England, so yeah. probably Joe Cole. Um, what's your favourite food? You've already said Nando's, Nando's your favourite yeah. restaurant. Is it just yeah, chicken it's from yeah, Nando's? Chicken, yeah. Uh, what's the best thing about being a professional footballer? Uh, Don't, don't really know. It's not really anything good, but uh, just coming to training every day. Yep. That's what I want to do. So, Jeremy, <laughs> um, why do you love Hyper Venom boots so much? Any, any particular reason? They're just new, on, new on the scene, aren't they? So, I used to wear Vapors, which is a night boot as well, a winger's night boot. Now Venom's are out. I like them. So, okay. um, do, you, do you prefer playing on big or small pitches? Uh, big. Because then I can just run with the ball. So, yeah. Yeah. And have you learned much from the, from the likes of Jermaine? Because obviously, you know, likes to play on the right, you prefer play on the left, but yeah. probably the closest thing to a traditional winger. Yeah, he's, he's quick. He's got a bit of skill about him, not much, but. <laughs> yeah, but we do play on different wings, so it's hard to sleep. He probably likes crossing the ball more, where you don't really cut in as much. So. Yeah. But yeah, he's, he's a good winger. What's it been like coming on at the end of games, trying to make an impact, and, and you know, how much do you think you could do if you it's got hard, to start? It's been hard because obviously the club hasn't been the best this season so far. So coming when we when I've come on as we've been winning, it's easier to get into the game. Whereas if I come on when we're losing, it's hard to get into the game where the other team's always on top. So are there any particular games where you feel like you've made put your, your claims forward for a start? We've done done more than others. Nah, not really. I haven't had en enough time to show yet. So. Yeah, it's interesting what you said about um, uh, not overcomplicating things. Because, but do you think wingers are bound to sort of yeah. try things? Because sometimes yeah. it's going to come off, sometimes it won't. But is that is that something you've been told just to keep it simple? Yeah. I guess if there's a chance to do what I've got to do, then I'll do it. But when there's a lot of me as a winger, like you get track down quicker than anyone else so you have to just give it simple I guess yeah and uh, there's, there's a lot of you coming through from this current youth set up um, yeah. breaking into the first team Harry's played Bobby's played yeah. Joe Hanks and Ed Williams obviously in the squad as well do you put that down to um, good work being done in the academy and yeah. also obviously the talent that's in there yeah it's bit, last season was good we did well, well we obviously had a good run in the FA Youth we didn't do too well in the league at the start and then after we went out of the FA Youth, we got back up in the league. So it's been good in the youth. They've done, the managers have done well with us. And yep. obviously putting through so far five players, there hasn't been that many in God knows how many years. So yep. they're, they're doing well, yeah. Yeah, and what's, finally, Zach, what's it like being a local lad? Because there haven't been many come through and play for the first team in the last few years. It's good to show, well, there's been three, me, Ed and Joe now, so... It shows there is a bit of talent in Gloucester and Cheltenham. Yeah. Did you support so. Cheltenham as a kid? Or? Nah, not really. I've, I've always been Man United, so. But, oh. yeah, it's been good. Yeah, right. 